Comes as no surprise to say that it's all but impossible to conduct any kind of business these days without a computer. What is new is that computers are suddenly becoming a factor beyond business. That's our final report tonight by David Dow. Computer stores have become the neighborhood soda shops of the binary generation. The disciples, young and old, of smart machines. It's the generation of creative computing and interface age of small personal computers that can swallow a book cheaply. Suddenly, personal computers have become the business of at least 25 manufacturers, with three companies, Radio Shack, Apple, and Commodore, grabbing three quarters of the market. Franchise operations have sprung up to sell their products. Computer Land, for instance, now wooing customers in 37 states and 10 foreign countries. Something is happening out there. Something that's expanding your world. Small computers are happening. The purpose of our business, simply stated, is to establish and support n number of successful Computerland stores. Computers have become personal tools as prices dropped and components shrank. This personal computer costs about $1,400 and fits nicely on a desk corner. Duplicating its performance just five years ago would have cost $75,000 and involved a unit the size of a large refrigerator. Overnight, manufacturing personal computers has become a half-billion-dollar business, one that's doubling every two years. It's uh, come from something that didn't exist a few years ago into a, a very large business today. And in the future, uh, of course, personal computers, a lot of people anticipate, will be as ubiquitous as the telephone. Frightening to many people, yes. And that may be why homes are the last place to be invaded by computers. In about 200,000 American homes, computers are turning on sprinklers or triggering burglar alarms. But even some who live with computers admit an initial sense of computer shock. When we first moved in, we had the dishwasher was programmed to come on at a certain time and the washer and dryer were programmed to come on at certain times and we found that was kind of inconvenient. Until we w got control, we felt that we were being run by the computer. Most of the one million mini computers in use today are the personal calculators of businessmen and scientists or hobbyists turn businessmen. Ed Magnin quit a teaching job in Torrance, California to sell his own computer programs to other computer buffs. It's easier than teaching Magnin can watch television while the computer fills the orders by telephone line, all automatically. A whole generation is being weaned on computers, and manufacturers say that guarantees that computers will become the household appliance of the near future. In their view, it will not be a case of machines taking command of people, but of people taking command. Or as skeptics might hope, fighting computers with computers. David Dow, CBS News, Los Angeles. And remember, daylight saving time ends tonight, so before you go to bed, remind your little computer to turn the clock back one hour.